This video shows a few examples of the types of chemical bonds that play important roles in determining and stabilizing three-dimensional protein structure. The bovine gamma chymotrypsin protein will serve as an example. Chymotrypsin is secreted by the pancreas and catalyzes the breakdown of proteins in digestion that occurs in the intestine. Gamma chymotrypsin consists of four peptide chains, A, B, C, and D. A is shown in blue, B in green, C in pink, and D in yellow. These chains are generated by cleavage of a precursor peptide. The cartoon representation of the protein shows numerous beta strands and a few alpha helices and the loops that connect them as thinner rods, tracing the shape of the protein backbone. For illustrative purposes, a model peptide of 12 amino acids, glycine-193 to asparagine-204 of chain C within the protein, will be used to illustrate example bonds in a known structure. In this peptide, backbone atoms are pink and side chain atoms are in the CPK color scheme. Carbon is gray, hydrogens are white, nitrogens are blue, oxygens are red, and sulfurs are yellow. In many cases, hydrogens will not be shown for simplicity's sake. As will be seen, most residues, that is the amino acids of this peptide, are contained in a beta strand. Note that the part of the peptide that spans the interior of the protein comprises multiple hydrophobic amino acids, indicated by gray hydrocarbon side chains. Covalent bonds are the strongest chemical bonds contributing to protein structure. In addition to the covalent bonds that connect the atoms of a single amino acid, and the covalent peptide bond that links amino acids in a protein chain, covalent bonds between cysteine side chains can be important determinants of protein structure. Cysteine is the sole amino acid whose side chain can form covalent bonds yielding disulfide bridges with other cysteine side chains. Here, cysteine 201 of the model peptide is seen to be covalently bonded with cysteine 136 from an adjacent beta strand. Because side chains of acidic amino acids can donate protons to solutions, endowing side chain oxygens with a negative charge, and side chains of basic amino acids can accept protons from solutions, endowing side chain nitrogens with a positive charge, electrostatic attractions can form between such oppositely charged atoms when they are juxtaposed, and these can be important to forming and stabilizing 3D structure. In the model peptide, a negatively charged oxygen on the side chain of aspartate-194 lies 2.8 angstroms from the positively charged nitrogen on the amino terminus of chain B, and these atoms are engaged in an ionic bond or salt bridge. Examples of several types of hydrogen bonds can be illustrated using amino acids of the model peptide in chymotrypsin. Seen here, an H-bond donor oxygen on the side chain of serine-195 and its corresponding H-bond acceptor nitrogen on the side chain of histidine-57 share a partially charged hydrogen. Glycine-193 provides an H-bond acceptor, its backbone carbonyl oxygen, and histidine-40's side chain provides an NH donor, forming a hydrogen bond. Asparagine-204 contains a backbone carbonyl group that can accept a hydrogen from a solvent water molecule at the protein surface. Most of the H bonds in a protein are between main chain, that is backbone amino groups, and carbonyl groups in either alpha helices or beta sheets. Polar amino acids, mostly found on protein surfaces, promote appropriate folding by interacting with the water solvent. Here, you can see H bonds between a water oxygen and a side chain hydrogen of serine 217, and between a water hydrogen and the carbonyl oxygen of serine 223. Another example is an H bond between a water hydrogen and the side chain oxygen of glutamine 240.
Only a fraction of the water molecules that surround a protein in vivo are visualized in the chymotrypsin crystal structure of this video. These water molecules, however, can be seen interacting with the protein surface. Hydrophobic interactions are a major force driving proper protein folding. Examples of hydrophobic bonding can be found and visualized using our model peptide. Proline-198 and valine-200 are two of six interior hydrophobic amino acids in the model peptide. The close association of the hydrocarbon side chains of these amino acids and those of leucine-209, valine-121, and tryptophan-207 are shown here. When found at the surface, exposed to polar water molecules, hydrophobic side chains are usually involved in extensive hydrophobic bonding. Here, packing of the hydrophobic side chains of proline-24 and phenylalanine-71 is observed. The London dispersion force is a transient, weak electrical attraction of one atom for another. The London dispersion force attractions exist because every atom has an electron cloud that can fluctuate, yielding a temporary electric dipole. The transient dipole in one atom can induce a complementary dipole in another atom, provided the two atoms are quite close. These short-lived complementary dipoles provide a weak electrostatic attraction. Of course, if two electron clouds of adjacent atoms are too close, repulsive forces come into play because of the negatively charged electrons. The appropriate distance required for London dispersion force attractions differs from atom to atom based on the size of each electron cloud and is referred to as the van der Waals radius. Most atoms of a protein are packed sufficiently close to others to be involved in transient London dispersion force interactions. This can be seen in the case of the monopeptide embedded in the dense interior of the chymotrypsin protein.